due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. And now for our feature presentation. I know you're gonna dig this. This is Isaiah Roberts, and you're now listening to Chill Lover Radio. Yo, this is Sherwin XO, and you're listening to Urban Form Radio. With Silky, baby, you get a chance. Take a listen to Chill Lover Radio, baby. You know what you're doing. If you don't listen to Chill Lover Radio and Urban Form Radio, there's something wrong with you. Later. Get him up. Oi, oi, oi. Ay, ay, ay. Red alert. Righteousness is missing you. This is Paul Wayne on Chill Lover Radio. Stay tuned and keep it locked. Get him up. Been locked on Chill Lover Radio. Get him up. Work hard all day, but yet I'm short on pay. I lift up my head and then I pray to the Father. I'm giving thanks to love a radio I play. I'm locked away. Keep it locked and chill love a radio. Paul and said that. <laughs> You're now tuned into Urban Form and I'm your host, Silky. Please be advised that this show is adult content only. I'm Paul Wayne, and you're in tune to the Urban Forum. Please be advised that this show contains adult content. Thank you. Crank it up and piss off the neighbors. You got your radio locked on to the hottest station. Keep it locked on Chill Lover Radio. Good afternoon. You are now tuned into Urban Forum Radio Talk Show. We want to welcome everyone for being here this afternoon. We are here at Humans uh, Bookstore for Angel's book signing um, to his book, Rise to Grace. We're located at 2319 Frederick Douglass Boulevard. We are excited to be here. Hey, Paul, what's up? Hey, what's up, D? How are um, you? This is a great community event here. Um, the outpouring is tremendous. The support from the community, and like you said, the um, the the major thing going on today is Angel Huertas's release, um, "Rise to Grace: A Genuine Street Story," which is an excellent, excellent book. Yeah, we've I mean, interviewed him before, mm-hmm. and he was on the platform talking about how he wrote this book Mm -hmm. and we're going to get him on later on we're also going to um, be interviewing people who has already purchased the book or who actually read the Mm -hmm. book and um, we're also have a special guest named David Castro we have David Castro he's a he's an author as well and he has a very interesting book Mm -hmm. Um, it's called understanding supernatural dreams and I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in this especially since it's according to the Bible and this is a wow um, so it's biblical it's biblical that's awesome nature and I know coming from the Caribbean how important this is to a lot of religious people because a lot Mm -hmm. of people they really get their insight and how they approach life right via the, the dreams that they have right and I was right. scrolling through this book a little and mm-hmm. I learned that there are different levels of dreams so it's it's a very interesting piece. and then remind me since it's biblical I think it was King Lear it's one of the kings used to have one of the servants come in and try to enter inter- interpret his dreams mm-hmm. so that's a really really well, that was a big thing and it's yeah. it's still a big thing now like Absolutely. you know you can't even say that it's it's superstitious or whatever but yeah, no of it has a lot of credence right you know, because you can sometimes talk or dream things into existence and mm-hmm. another thing is how do you that's know true. how do you know we're not dreaming now when, when we're dreaming that's the <laughs> that's real the thing. matrix right? <laughs> you know? that's kind of oh that's what the matrix the is matrix about? is about that like a dream matrix- within a dream within a dream oh really and whether or not this world is really our reality you're the only person that's been able to explain that to me every really? time i sit and i try to watch the matrix oh it's I, awesome i can't i, I just David? I can't. Yeah. I just don't get, get it. So, get um, so you know, we have a special guest coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, before, but before that, I want to let people know we're out here at Humans Bookstore, and the address is twenty three nineteen Frederick Douglass, Douglass Boulevard, here, right here in Harlem. Between, it's on one hundred and twenty fifth and Eighth Avenue, also known as Frederick Douglass Boulevard. It's right beside the Magic Johnson movie theater. Correct. There's only one of those in Harlem. Uh, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but we wanted to first talk about 
um, Angel's book, Rise to Grace. As I said, we had the opportunity of having him on the platform before. And um, this brother story is phenomenal. Um, he was once a, a drug addict. I just want to hold the book up. He was once, and I'm sorry, a drug dealer. And um, he was selling drugs out in the street. And him and his partner got hooked up. And they were making mad money. You know you know the game. If you're from the neighborhood or if you're from the hood, you know the game. Um, called his partner over. His partner ended up shooting him. And um, what really... Um, inspired me because I saw stories are so similar um, to the fact where he fell he got shot and fell in front of a church and um, the people heard him in the church while they was praying and they came out and um, as he was telling me this as I was interviewing him on the first time chills just went through my body because chills, of, <laughs> because of how um, you know God when he's ready for you he's gonna he's gonna intercede he's gonna do something to stop you to slow you down for you to she, pay attention she, she. okay you you say God is a she I say he's a he so uh, we're right on point <laughs> well it's still s-h-e my... so it's the same thing just like man and woman. man uh -huh. but if you notice s-h-e the he comes from the s-h-e and just like Paul, you know i can't get into that with you i cannot get into that we always gotta get into something we can't just but, you know um, again we're here at um humans, humans bookstore people are lining up to purchase angel's story and read his book and it's i mean the energy is just flowing mm -hmm. he is uh, him and his wife is actually here and um um, I've had the opportunity to meet both of them, and they're absolutely adorable. I love his wife. Um, and his family is here as well. So we're definitely going to have Angel on the forum a little bit later. But right now, we would like to introduce to you David Castro. Yeah. Come on in. How are you? Great. Great. How are you today? Pretty good. Pretty good. good. So we've mm. Understanding Supernatural Dreams, According to the Bible, a Living Classic. Thank you. Tell us, tell us what that's about. Yes, well, Understanding Supernatural Dreams According to the Bible, A Living Classic is my first title. I have six, I have five others. Um, they're all available on Amazon Create Space. Go mm -hmm. to my website, brooklynblessing.com. Brooklynblessing.com. Brooklynblessings.com. This book com. came about because even though my family, I, I was born and raised in Williamsburg as well, raised there, and my family tried to convert me to Christianity. I wouldn't hear it. Uh, I thought I was too intelligent. But I found myself wanting to study the Chinese art of Qi Kung. Qi Kung. Qi Kung. Qi Kung. I, I can pronounce that, but I can't pronounce Angel's last name. Can you imagine? Qi <laughs> Kung. So, yes. So what what I, does that say? What does that mean? Um, it's the art of spiritual battle. Okay. Yeah, that's, it, it all, um, like a spiritual uh, warfare? Yeah, spiritual warfare, but it emphasizes the Qi. So that's why the mm -hmm. tiny ones, the tiny masters can topple gigantic ones. It's all because of the chi. So Is that like similar to David and Goliath? Slow down. We're not in a rush. Is that similar to like David and Goliath? David was so small and Goliath was like this big well, giant? Dave, tiny little David's chi was actually the Holy Ghost. Okay. So that was another show. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> But the chi kung that I went to study, there's a temple right behind Diamond Head in, uh, in Honolulu, mm -hmm. uh, near Honolulu, Hawaii. So I was out there for like 10 months. That was my interest. Lo and behold, I cried out to God. I wanted to know if Jesus was real. So here I had an epiphany where the Shekinah glory of God, God himself visited me in that temple when I happened to be just meditating. I was hanging out alone mm -hmm. in the temple. Shekinah glory visited me. And from that moment, I knew Jesus was Lord. From that moment mm. onward, 32 and a half years later, I'm still on fire for God. Mm. Still walking with Jesus and the Holy Ghost. And Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Can move me or shake me from my walk with Him. Now that that yes. comes from, from from early perspective because you were saying you didn't believe in Christianity, I did not, yes. right? And so you went on this pilgrimage, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. I when you to study Chinese philosophy and, and end up getting cool. Jesus, isn't that one? And getting Jesus, Jesus said you can quit this and go back to Brooklyn. Wow. Uh, yeah, so I came back to Brooklyn, started working in the post office. Here I am in my 20s, young, handsome, Puerto Rican with a job mm. in Brooklyn, New York of A, okay? So, <laughs> behold, here I am in the Williamsburg, Brooklyn projects. Right. And I did not ask, I did not know what was in store, but lo and behold, the ceiling of my bedroom began to open up and I began to get heavenly visitations that I didn't ask for. People were not praying for me. I wasn't reading or studying about these things. I had no questions about these things. All I know is I'm, I'm a Christian with the Holy Ghost, mm. Puerto Rican with a job, 
And that's <laughs> all I know. But lo and behold, angels began to visit me. She kind of began to visit me. My mom is right there. I still live with her all these years. She could testify the dozens, no, the hundreds of times I would come out of my room. Mom, I had another vision. Mom, I had another trance. Mom, an angel visited me. And I'd be weeping trying to tell her what God has revealed unto me. So out of these rich experiences became the scholar in me began to write some of these things. Mm -hmm. So then I not only got... A large. So uh, can it, let's reverse for a second. Yeah. So when these angels came to visit, yeah, 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 just slow down, because we want to ask questions, yes. if you don't mind. Yes. So when the angels begin to come visit you, yes. what was their mission? The well, like, what were some of the things no. they said or did or first what changed in you? First, first and foremost, love and a okay. melting of my heart. And the actual reality of this new walk with Jesus and this new interest in the Bible, the reality of it. It's not just now a religious thing that I'm a part of now, the reality of it. So then at times I would get a dream about our neighbor. Look, my nephew who was in a, another state and, and some of the things he's going through. I saved my family's lives on many occasions mm. simply because God would show me a dream. I would call them and I said, run for your life from this individual. You got to do this. You know what? Yeah. That's amazing because the same thing happened to me. Yeah. No, absolutely. My, I've had a vision where my sister was going to have something dangerously was going to happen to her. Yeah. And I called her or she called me and I said, Renee, I said, be careful. I said, because I had a dream about you and it wasn't a good dream. And two days later, her apartment caught on fire and my nephews were caught in that fire. Thank God they're, f they're fine. But if it had not been for me seeing that vision, I would have never been able to forewarn her. Wow. You know what I mean? So I can kind of understand. Is that what this book's about? It deals with those. It speaks to those things. Okay. Absolutely. We all have those kinds of experiences, mm -hmm. some more than others. Mm -hmm. Most don't understand or interpret them. And a lot of times those warnings are given from God simply because he loves us. When he visits us, he gives us a vision, a, true. a message. It's not all the time trying to convert us and get us to join our religion. Right. Sometimes, yes. But he just wants to rescue us from these temporal evils. So what is it? Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Could, um, could I ask a question? How, how did you technically put this thing together? Like what, what was your concept and, and how did you put it together because I'm looking at it here and I'm seeing it has so many structured and it's very organized and it, how did like how long did it take for you to put it together this is a very this looks like something a, a college student would have my, my for a course draft took less than a year and that one blew away a couple of my friends that were scholars 25 years later with further polishing I think it's the best out there uh, what has happened is that I began to realize this is something that everybody in the Bible experienced. From Genesis to Revelation, you have thousands of supernatural experiences. So I learned to uh, scrutinize, to crystallize, and then to break down the dynamics of a supernatural experience all according to the Bible. Okay, I have, a, I have another question. For this is our last question. Uh, mm -hmm. Another thing. Um, so what are you a part of a specific denomination? Or a what sector? denomination are you from, like in the Christian faith? When I began to uh, go to the church, remember these experiences and the articulation of these teachings began even before I became a church member. However, yeah. Yeah. So these things came, you know, more from God, more than within the church world. But I joined up in the Lord led me into the denomination of the Pentecostalism. Yes. But now after, you know, I, I going to college over the last 10 years, I got two master's degrees. I began a, a Ph.D. program. The Lord kind of evolved me. So now I become much more ecumenical, less dogmatic, less preaching at you and just simply loving you. You know? That's a phenomenal, David. And we really appreciate you being here on the forum. Where can people find your work? brooklynblessing.com www.brooklynblessing.com and I'm also doing a sci-fi series the Lord has expanded me to do film, video, uh, comedy and to break out into more than just religious stuff you are awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a round, round girl. Thank you. So that, that's absolutely wonderful. If you want to thank you for being on the Urban Forum My panel pleasure. and platform, please stop by any time. Right. We'll have you on the show at another time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And, and please don't forget my book. Could you leave that one right here? Yeah. <laughs> and sign it for us. Sure, Urban I'll Forum. I'll be here. Thank you so much, David. Have a good day. Right, what well, yeah. wonderful. All right. We're going to take a break. Hey, Paul, how you doing? I'm doing good, this man. This is I'm Saturday. Just like this is a special so event great. for us. It's so great to be a part of this phenomenal community. 